Hey everybody, it's uh, Tyler with Cutthroat Research. We're uh, doing a gameplay video today. I just wanted to go over a game that I recorded uh, a few days ago where I was testing a deck that I hadn't played much before. Um, uh, working title for this segment, we might go with standardized testing. Seems like a, a neat little title. We'll, we'll see. Um, I will also put links to both decks in the description of this video. Uh, the deck that I'm playing is called the Beast Who Berries Haberdashery, and uh, my opponent is playing a deck called, let me pull it up here, uh, F. Victros Conqueror of the Hungry Ruins. So links will be in the description with deck lists. I might post edit the deck lists into the video at some point with links uh, if I could figure out how to do that I'm still pretty new to this so we're drawing up our hands resolving mulligans uh, for my first turn I drop down the terror and get two amber it's a pretty pretty strong opening play uh, I, I feel like going first you want to have a strong opening play if I'm going first I'm always mulliganing for something to either get me amber or get me board presence. Uh, my opponent plays a Lash of Broken Dreams and discards a card. And then on my second turn, I start with Library Access. So here I'm going to be going through a, a little bit of a Library Access turn. Uh, even with the nerf, you could still get a pretty high tempo going. So I lab work, archive a card, phase shift, draw another card from that. I'm going to Twin Bolt hitting my own creature just to get some amber and draw some more cards. Uh, my goal this turn is to try to get to check. Uh, turn 2 check is pretty strong. Put pressure on the opponent. Try to keep him out tempoed. Uh, so I drop a dust pixie from the phase shift and that does put me in check. So um, I'm ending my turn and it goes back over to him. Now when you when you, when you look at your deck, you want to try and figure out if your deck's tempo, control, or combo. The deck I'm playing, it's hard to figure out uh, the Beast Who Berries Haberdashery if it's tempo or control, because it has elements of both. And it just kind of, you got to let the deck tell you with its opening hand what, uh, what it's trying to do that game. So here... My opponent nerve blasts the terror, and then he does it again. So he's going to get me off check. He's going to kill a creature. And uh, I think we're at even amber now. If if not, I might be one or two ahead. His amber's off camera. i got to get a better angle in the future. So here, I uh, play Control of the Week, calling Shadows. I don't have any information on his hand other than he just called Shadows. And I'm thinking it's safe that he might not have any shadows left. From, well, he definitely doesn't from his turn. He would have played them all. Uh, and then it's, did he draw any? And he just passes. So I got pretty lucky with that play. Um, but I think without information, it is the best play to choose what they just played. If they have no creatures on board, especially. So here I play a Maverick Flaxia. I get more Amber... I discard a fear or because he has nothing on board. I just want to draw cards. I don't tend to hold on to cards for a better effect if I'm in the lead or even if I'm behind. Honestly, it's it's a risk reward. You got to ask yourself. I don't think bouncing a creature later would be more beneficial than drawing a card at the end of this turn. So I discard fear. Um, he has a, a he's starting to establish his board again. And that's that's good. He plays Drummer Knot, Foozle, and Ogo Pogo. He has stunned both of mine with Tremor. I now have a Soul Snatcher on board, but I do forge the first key. With uh, one Amber remaining. So, on my turn, I call Untamed, and I have Full Moon. In this deck, I have two Full Moons, as you can see right here, and I happen to get them both. Uh... So I'm going to get two for each creature I play down after this, which is extremely powerful. And I play a Fog Bank. He can't fight. 
I unstun my Dust Pixie, and I believe I'm in check again at the end of this turn. So, constantly keeping pressure on. You don't want your opponent... You want your opponent to respond to your plays instead of making their own. You, you... Especially in tempo, you want to try to be in control of the game. Uh, but that could also work against you, because I'm trying to play fast. I'm trying to to get all this amber out, to, to, uh, to put pressure on my opponent to respond to the things I'm doing. But I believe in this upcoming turn, I kind of tunnel vision, and I miss a bigger play because I'm rushing. Um, and that's just a... It could be part personal problem, it could be part hubris, but... Uh, his turn, he discards Misery Exploit. Um, I on, on my previous turn, I did Mimicry his Tremor to stun his board. So he's playing Banish and deciding who he wants to uh, put in my archive right now. He does go with Big Twig, so that goes to the archive. The battle line consolidates. Um, I don't remember the card I put in my archive with Lab Work. Uh, he puts a Soul Keeper on Drummer Knot. I believe that's the name of the card. It's the one where, when they're destroyed, they take the highest power opponent's creature with them. So he's going to end his turn. I'm checking my archive. I do add my archive. I unstun, calling dis. I play three fates. Oh, I didn't forge a key because he lashed. I thought I was just forgetting to forge a key, but now I, I remember he did lash. And this is me remembering that he lashed. I forgot in the game as well. So I drop down Tenicus. I use my lash. I play another Control the Weak. I named Brobnar on this one. Um, I, I don't know why I named Brobnar. It's possible he has some Brobnar creatures. I just kind of took a shot in the dark. So he plays a couple creatures, uh, Lollop the Titanic, and I think it's, a uh, Groggins, the, the A-Power creature. I can't remember his name, and it's a little blurry on camera. So he ends. I forge a key. So again, I got lucky on my control of the week. He couldn't really capitalize on me not knowing. I, I I guess I made a decent call on that. But my my thinking was uh, Brobnar had the least interaction with my board and Amber. And I wanted to forge a key that turn. Here's where I tunnel vision. I'm trying to swing Dust Pixie to kill it because I have a regrowth in my hand. But I have a Halicor out, so I didn't even realize Dust Pixie has Skirmish. So now I'm starting, I'm on like a slight tilt because I misplayed. I'm trying to think around it, so I just reap here instead of swinging. I apologize to my opponent. Uh, it, it's, a, you know, it's a testing game. We're not going to be too hard on it. I play a Fog Bank to get some Amber. And then, I, and then I realize here that I could have just played these creatures before swinging, and I could have still done the good play. And <laughs> I start to get a little uh, tilted again. But um, I have a pretty big amber supply. I regrowth, I believe, for Flaxia here to continue to put amber pressure on my opponent. And I think here he says he can't get the game. It's either this turn or next turn. So he forges for seven, because I have Mermook out. Then he's thinking of what house to call. So 
So here he calls dis. He plays binding irons to put three chains onto me. He steals one with Schuler. And he plays Lash. So then my goal on this turn is to either get above nine. Uh, this, I remind him that he has to pay me one to use a Lash, which he has to do or he loses. So I choose Dis. I believe I just reap. I play the Flaxia to get two more. I think I drop another disc creature here. Let's see. Yep. And use my Lash. And then I play Hecatomb. And now Hecatomb here destroys three of my creatures, one of his. So we get three Amber and one. But then Soul Snatcher will double that because we have creatures that get destroyed. So I go to an outrageous amount of Amber, hopefully enough that he can't take me off a key even with the Lash, and he uh, he goes to Scoop Face. So uh, that's that's a, that was a test game. It was a pretty quick one. I was happy with the results of the deck. I think this is the second time I had played the deck, and um, I performed well. I, I really did enjoy it, and... I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope I, I'm gonna try and do a little better with the stream of consciousness thing. Try to talk about my plays more. But if this is something you guys enjoy seeing, or if you guys just want the raw audio from the game, whatever you guys want, let me know. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna keep trying to put out some content like this on YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, leave a like, do all that fun YouTube stuff. Have a good one, guys. See ya.